Dave! A voice called out to me in the dark, and I opened my eyes. The light was blinding, and I had to shut them again. I opened them slowly, and my eyes quickly adjusted to the brightness. What? Where am I? I asked as I looked around my surrounding. The last thing I remembered was going to bed, but upon opening my eyes, I found myself in a rainforest. Was I dreaming? I couldn't be. It was way too real. I could feel the hot sun on my skin. I was barefoot and the soft brown earth curled between my toes. The air was humid and it stung my nose, filling them with the stench of rotten vegetation and soil. All around me were tall trees and plants of different colors. Butterflies and insects were crawling up the tree barks. Birds sang in the branches and lizards scurried on the forest floor. It was actually quite beautiful and I was about to reach out to a fluttering butterfly when the voice came again. Dave, a low rumbled voice said. The sound made my arms tingle with goosebumps and the butterflies fluttered away. Dave, the voice said again, a little bit closer this time. Who is it? I called out into the forest. I couldn't tell where the voice had come from. It seemed to come from nowhere and everywhere at the same time. It is me, Dave, the voice rumbled. It has always been me. I twirled around, looking for where the voice was coming from, and better yet, who had it. I found it. To my right, and what looked like miles away, was a dark portion of the forest, and standing in the middle of dead plants and trees was a tall shadow in the shape of a man. It was tall, taller than any living thing had the right to be almost as tall as the trees and dark like he wore clothes made out of the night. His palms were large enough to fit my face. His eyes were large and white with no pupils, just large empty balls of despair. He had no nose and his crimson red lips were on the left side of his face, stretching from his left eye to his pointed chin. It is time, Dave. His red lips contorted revealing a set of uneven teeth. Time for what? I said as I slowly inched backward with a sinking feeling in my stomach. Time to go, he said and began walking slowly towards me. As he approached me, the forest began to wilt and die, and day slowly turned to night till there was nothing but darkness all around. The smells hit me all at once. The smell of death and rotten flesh was suffocating and I found it hard to breathe. As he made his way towards me, he dragged his massive palms with his long and sharp fingers across the rotten soil. I turned to run, screaming for my parents, but something held me back. They're not here, but I am, he said as he wrapped his arms around me. I'm the only one for you, Dave. I'm the only one who cares and loves you. He had crouched down, and when I turned around, I was staring right into his big white eyes and screamed with the last remaining air in my lungs. I woke up screaming, dressed in all white. I was in a hospital, a psychiatry hospital heavily sedated, my parents at my side.